I'm Michael Bonney from Melbourne, driver of the CND Motorworks S15. So I drive a um, S15 with a 2JZ in it. Got a um, BC Stroker kit, 3.4 litre. Got a Hollinger gearbox, Nismo, two-way diff, GDR housing. Um, runs a Haltech ECU. Makes about 500 kilowatts. All built by CND Motorworks, all the fabrication done by Tracker. Uh, this weekend, yeah, we're running Nitrous. Just so much more response. We uh, got a new look this round. Um, it's the first time out with a new look. Um, pretty much we changed the look because we um, wanted to make it look more aggressive, the car that it is. Um, just looked too subtle last year. Wanted, to, wanted a bit more of a GT look, a bit more aero. It's basically the same body kit with a few, few additions. Um, there's still a few more knickknacks to get done before it's finished, but that's pretty much it. I decided to um, step the driving up for round two. Simply didn't have much practice in the off season because we stripped the car and redid the whole, whole lot, neatened it up but um, pretty much a lot more confident in the car and um, just want to push it hard to its potential and this way again I'm trying to take it up another notch. The two most powerful cars in the field now both packing around 800 horsepower. Nitrous equipped 2J of Michael Bonney up against that late model V8 engine in Josh Botcher's GTR S15. Botcher, big, big entry. Bonney got thrown off though and had a big break, goes off track. And that will be a zero to Michael Bonney in the CND Motorworks S15. JB now just able to put the hammer down and finish off that great lead run. That big entry just completely threw Bonnie off. What happens now when they switch it around? The CND Motorworks S15 leads. Full throttle entry throws it in big speed. A little bit of a correction there through the new line oil switchback, but now JB is closing in. He had the 10-0 advantage coming into this. Hung back a little bit at the start of the run, but now puts the foot down, gets nice and close, and gets the win.